Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now for the past four years or so, I've been sharing uh, with you all guys my opinion regarding the best Android TV boxes available on the market that we managed to test right here on the channel. And I will be doing so in a couple of months, although this year has been a bit boring in terms of hardware and in terms of software. Nonetheless, today we will not talk about the best, but we will talk about the worst as you may have seen on the title of 2018. And this video is sponsored by NordVPN, a VPN service available for almost any platform with servers in 56 countries at an affordable price. Check out the link below for more details. And we are back. So guys, let me start by saying that it's not the worst Android TV box of 2018, but the worst experience that I've had in my life, at least so far in terms of these devices. Now, those of you that follow the channel know a little bit of my history. I've been using TV boxes without Android for quite some time. And we're talking about 20 years or so since I was a teenager. And we're talking about closed systems back then. Now, since I had my chance to get the first Android TV box available, at least to my knowledge, back in 2008, 2009, which was the Minix X5 Mini back then with Jelly Bean or something like that, I've had um, the chance to use Android TV boxes as my main media center or the main media consumption device on every single TV that I've got right over here. And I did share to that side of the screen with this great community all the great experiences that I had, all the average experiences that I had, and even the bad experiences that I had with all the pros and cons of every single device, which it's fair and it happens with any single device. Now, I would like to point out to something right over here and we just reviewed this one on the last video so I wanted to share this particular video so that I can spread the words and avoid especially some of you to do a mistake of purchasing this one. Now, this is just an expensive paperweight, as I usually call to some devices. Now, it has a respectable hardware inside. It runs the AM Logic S912 and all the specifications just down below. I will not waste your time right over here. I will also leave the review down below so that you can check out. But I can give you some examples. This machine right over here, it reboots constantly. Uh, it has really a poor firmware integrated here. Any app that we run will crash and the box will crash so at the end of the day this is something that if anyone purchases they will have just a bad experience and any device that comes to my hands i always think about people like my dad my mom when they purchase something they just want to take it out of the box and start using it this one in particular all we want is to connect to a tv and start enjoying our media it doesn't matter if it's netflix or Kodi or whatever we just want to enjoy it and anyone buying a box such as this one and this one in particular will have a awful experience now also something that worries me is that for a first timer if they have the mistake of purchasing this box they will relate this to an android tv box and what i believe that will happen is and i've said this a few years ago they will never touch an android tv box again when we know that there are great choices on the market and this is almost a crime because it's fair that someone will buy this and they will say okay an android tv box is this then i don't want to use this kind of device and this is not fair for every other brand that produces great devices so guys with no further ado what i would like to mention in this particular video is that not all android tv boxes are the same this one in particular a link down below is a piece of crap a expensive piece of technology which was poorly made no support and unfortunately there's no way to control this but this brand i do believe that will produce another Android TV box next year with a different name and they will keep on selling. And one of the questions that people sometimes ask me on negative reviews is, hey Robert, if it's bad, why do you bring to the channel? My answer is simple. First of all, I didn't know it was this bad when I did had the chance to review it. Secondly, even if I knew, I would not hide it from the public, which it's in this community, this great community, uh, at least to prevent that some of you guys are aware that this product is available for sale, but don't purchase it because you will have a bad experience. And these are the only reasons that I will keep 
on pushing here on the channel not only the good experiences but also the really bad experiences now if i had to elect the second one because we had some bad experiences i've got it right over here the yundu y8 this was uh, the second place on the worst experiences that I had. I will also leave a link down below for the review. Some customers, after purchasing it, they have mentioned on a video, hey Robert, I wish I could have watched the video before I did that mistake. Hopefully I can save a few of you guys of getting this and doing a mistake that you will regret uh, later on. And that is it guys. Sorry that these are not good news as usually we have here on the channel. But once again, if I can prevent at least one people from purchasing this, then my day is great. I'm happy and that will be it. What you can expect and keep expecting here from the channel is that the reviews are unbiased. When they are great, they are great. When they are suck, they really suck. Usually we can get a balance between pros and cons, but there are scenarios that I can't find cons and there are scenarios that I cannot find any pro, which is this particular case. I can't use it. I simply can't use it. I didn't purchase it, but if I did, then I would be losing money and time. And one more question uh, for those of you that are a little bit more geeky, and I know that you will be saying, hey Robert, but the community has developed a firmware that improves this box. And this has happened with the past with some boxes and great community. They improve the lives of people that purchase its crap like this. But that should be a job of the manufacturer and not of the community. And when I do review a product, it's always, always as the product is sold and not after the community has improved that product. And this is across all brands. So this is my point of view, right or wrong, I don't know. Guys, this is it. Forget about this one, forget about this one. There are great choices. I will record a video uh, really soon because I want to do another video regarding this particular box, regarding the Android TV box buying guide episode. I've got one over here that uh, I wanted a good example. Not so extreme as this one, but this will do the job so stay tuned to the channel and we will talk in a few days guys as always hopefully this video was helpful and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one